Now that I'm in Photoshop, I've opened up the PNG and I've opened up the textures I'm going to use from Mug itself. I'll do so by selecting just the area with the Mug here. I'll edit out what I don't want afterwards. I'm going to be using W on the keyboard and I'm going to choose the Object Selection tool that's in Photoshop. So there's the Object Select tool and I'll make a selection of the mug. I'll copy and paste it into the PNG and I'll start to scale it down a bit. First thing I want to do though is I would like to identify roughly where the front of the mug would be. And I'll do that by going back into Maya. So I'll open Maya up for a second and I'll go to my UV editor and I'll put it to the side and I'm going to right click and choose face. So I know somewhere here, roughly in this area, is the center. So I'll click here, and now I can see I've got a pretty good idea of where the front of the mug is going to be. I'll return to Photoshop now. And I'll continue to scale this a bit. And I'm stopping short of where the arc is here because I'm going to have to clone. All right, now I'm going to go and I'm going to get the next image, which will be the back of it. Once again, I'll make a selection of it using the, uh, the object select tool. That was W on the keyboard, and I'll copy that. And I'll paste that in as well. And I'll start to scale that down. I'm going to change the later order and put this one down below there. And then I'm going to duplicate that layer. And I'll put that one on the other side. And now I'm going to put a layer mask on, the one with the wolf, the, the front of it. And I'll just get rid of the handle on this. Hitting B on the keyboard. I'll set my brush hardness to about 50. I'll change the size of my brush maybe to about 175. And I'll just knock the handle out of the way, blending it with the layer below best I can. Now I'm just going to clone some of what we've got here across this area where we would have the white if we had put it on Maya. I'll put a new layer above the front picture with the wolf going down to the bottom of the layer window. I'll click on the new layer icon. I'll hit S on the keyboard to get the clone tool. I'm going to make sure that all layers is selected to the right of the word sample. And now I'm going to set the hardness to 50 again. If I hold down my Option key, I can click wherever I want to clone. Now, I have to turn off the UV map because I'll clone that as well. So I'll go here and I'll start to clone maybe some of the front where the wolf is down into this area. Go back to a picture of the mug. I'll deselect. I want just the handle here. All right, so if I wanted to, um, probably the best way to go about this would be we'll use that object select tool again. And I don't really need any of this. So if I were to go to my marquee tool, hold my option key down, I can click and drag and get rid of what I don't want. So you can see you can get rid of a lot of it to begin with. Now it looks like I missed a little up here, so I'm going to click on the quick mask icon. I'll get my brush, make my hardness 100%, and I'll go in and add what I need from that. I'll return to my selection by clicking off on the quick select tool. I'll copy it and I'll paste it into position and now I'll put it down there into position start to scale it. Now I know I had to compensate with this because I'm using the smooth proxy so what I'll probably do is I'm going to zoom in I'm going to get rid of some of this with a layer mask and then I'm simply going to duplicate that layer. The nature of this texture it's very woody and barky and ambiguous so I'm going to copy the layer and I'm just going to move it in a little bit to cover up the UV map. And I'll hit Command T on the keyboard. And if I right click inside, I have the option to distort. And that's going to let me pull up and cover that a lot better. 
and I'll save. I'm going to turn off the UV map once I've saved. And now I'll go into Maya and apply it. Making sure I'm in my object mode, I'll select the mug, right click, choosing Assign New Material, right click, choosing Material Attributes. I'll break the connection with the checkerboard by right clicking on the word Color, Break Connection. I'll go back out through File, and I'll put the Photoshop file I just made. And there's our mug.